Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video we're talking how to style the denim midi skirt. I hope everyone's had a lovely week so far. About two months ago I did a how to style a pleated midi skirt video and that video has gone pretty well but there are a variety of different midi skirts out there and I think the midi skirt is something that we're all a little bit scared of because of the length of it and I think a lot of people think they're going to look shorter if they wear it or they're going to look wider if they wear it so I wanted to do another video today on a different type of midi skirt and that is the denim midi skirt. So just to give you a rundown on some of the different midi skirts that are available to you, you have the pleated midi skirt, the pencil midi skirt, the wrap midi skirt, which you're most likely to see in summertime. There's the A-line midi skirt, the bias cut midi skirt, and the trumpet shaped midi skirt. Among these pieces, you can get them in a variety of different fabrics, whether that be leather, cotton, denim, silk, or a satin. Some even come out in a velvet or a corduroy. There are so many different fabrics for these types of skirts. So today we're focusing on a recent purchase that I got not long ago from Country Road and it's a black high-waisted pencil midi skirt in a black denim and this particular skirt online looks a little bit different to how it does in person. Their main photo that they have online for this skirt is more of an asymmetric looking midi skirt and when you look through the other photos it's sitting you know completely in the center so I wasn't too sure about what was going on there with the styling choices for the online purchases which is I think a really good reason why we need to really double check all the photos and make sure we know what we're buying. I bought mine from the standalone Country Road store in the Queen Victoria building. So the reason I picked this skirt and didn't go for a blue denim skirt was because I already had a fair bit of blue denim in my wardrobe but I think that's something to remember if you're going to buy something in denim are you going to get as much use out of it as you would your jeans, for example? And you know, if you only ever wear blue jeans, perhaps it's time to try a different color denim in a different shape of garment. Um, and it'll give you just a little bit more versatility in your wardrobe and stop you from feeling like you're doing a lot of the same thing over and over again. So something to know about the midi skirt is that the midi skirt should always sit on your high waist. So that is above your belly button. Your mid waist is around your belly button area. Your high waist is around the last kind of rib cage that you have or the last two rib cages depending on how long your torso is. So you wanna wear one of these skirts starting at that point of your body. This particular type of skirt is also a skirt that's designed to show the waist. So you don't wanna wear something that is gonna completely cover the waist and the stomach area with these skirts. They are designed to have something tucked into them. If you wanna know a bit more about the fit of this type of skirt, I did a bit more of fit info, length and things like that in my previous mini skirt video, which I'll link down below for you guys. So I put together a series of looks for you guys today and let's jump into the first one. So this first one is the black denim midi skirt. I've then put on a turtleneck that's a black color, tucked it in. I've got a brown pair of suede high boots on, a brown belt around my waist just to tie the belt and the boots together. And then I put on a scarf that matches both the boots and the belt. And having that scarf nice and long helps to kind of cover up a little bit of the stomach area, particularly when you've tucked and you aren't quite that confident with doing tucking yet. And I think this is a really nice elongating way to wear a scarf. And it's just a bit more of a relaxed kind of mark casual, maybe weekend outfit. So this particular outfit I really liked because it just plays with two really basic colors and that's black and brown. So if you have a brown pair of boots at home um, or even if you have a brown or tan pair of shoes at home, throw on a black top, the black skirt, wrap a belt around it and then use a scarf just to kind of pick up some colors in there. It doesn't have to be brown, but I did find having these neutrals in my wardrobe really easy to mix and match. So for look number two, I had on the same black turtleneck, but I put my blue chambray shirt on over the top of it. I unbuttoned it a little bit at the neckline. I tucked it in and then I wrapped a black and gold belt around my waist just between the seam of the skirt and the blue chambray shirt. And then just for a little bit of fun, I put on a black and white speckled pump. I liked this outfit because it was a good way to kind of go without a jacket and the day that I was filming these it was around about 15 degrees which that might not be that cold for you wherever you are but for me it was kind of good jacket weather. So if you're experiencing cold weather that's not quite coat weather or tights weather but you still want to have a little something on, layering something over your turtleneck can be a really great way to do it and it just looks a little bit more styled. 
So for look three, I wanted to do a more going out look. So I've got the black midi skirt, a tucked in silver turtleneck, a leather jacket with a little bit of detail on the elbows and a black pair of suede pumps. And you would have seen these pumps in last week's video. They're super duper comfy. And I think when it comes to going out, if you know you're gonna be on your feet a lot, maybe go for a little bit of a thicker heel so that you feel like you can be out and you can be on your feet and you're not feeling like you've got really sore feet. In this particular outfit, I did like it, even though it's all black, playing around with those textures helps to break it up a little bit. So if you love black or you have a lot of black in your wardrobe, just try and play around with the different textures of fabrics and that'll break up your outfit. So for look four, I put on the black midi skirt. I've got a really nice kind of goldy mustard. It's like a turtleneck with a bit of a scoop to it and it's a bit of a drop raglan sleeve. And you could use a knit instead of using this piece. And this one is a really great way to style it if you aren't that comfortable with tucking. So it's kind of like a bit of a half tuck. I've tucked it in a little bit at the front and I've let it hang out a little bit more at the back. That way you don't feel so exposed. And this was really comfortable. I put on my black pair of suede thigh high boots and it was just a really good smile casual look. Now, I didn't want to leave you without options for a blue denim mini skirt in case you have one or you're thinking of getting a blue version. So I put together a few other outfits here. So I've got a A-line denim mini skirt and I've got a green turtleneck jumper tucked into it, a pair of black kind of thick heeled shoes, a leather jacket over the top and just a matching bag to that jacket. So next I went for a look that was a little bit more 70s. So I've got a high rise A-line denim mini skirt, an off white button up silk blouse. I've got kind of like a Sherpa style woolly kind of long coat in a camel color and then I've matched in a pair of snake print ankle boots and a really soft it's a really really light blue leather bag next I've got a denim midi skirt that is a bit more of a split in the middle rather than a symmetric and this is a really good skirt shape for boots because it does keep your legs looking nice and long so I went and put a high knee high boot with this um, and then I just got a really nice soft white turtleneck a necklace just to go over the chest and a soft kind of brown leather jacket to match in those boots and then I just wanted to throw a pop of color in there with that bag. Now, if you want to learn how to incorporate some other styles of clothing in your wardrobe, but you're not sure where to start, I'm going to leave a 20 page sample of my book down below. My book is kind of like a written form of one of my biggest styling packages, and it helps you work out what your style is and turn that into a real life thing for you in your wardrobe. So I'll leave a sample of that down below for you guys to check out. That's all I have for you this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my video. I absolutely love it when people subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future videos, please leave a comment below. I'll see you guys next week with another video.